Hey everyone, I'm Russell Mullen. And I'm Josh, we're with Mother Earth News. And today we are gonna be taking the um, chicken waterer that we built a couple weeks ago, and we're gonna be putting it in a pallet uh, shade structure that is meant for uh, water and feed applications. Yep. So, Russell, how many cuts are we thinking about doing today? Four. Four cuts. <laughs> how many screws? A handful. <laughs> Got yeah, okay, we're not that technical on the screws yet. And we're gonna try to do it, I think, in 30 minutes. Yep. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah. Okay, and uh, before we get started, we wanna thank our sponsor today, it's Jobman Workwear. As you can see, Russell, looking stylish, as usual. Myself, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm looking okay, thanks to Jobman. Yeah. Um, you can learn more about performance workwear at jobmanusa.com. Uh, we're gonna be doing a series of videos with them. We're gonna be doing some DIY projects, so if you have DIY, um, or heavy duty construction ideas, message them to us, email them to us, and um, we'll try to build it for you. Cool. Um, so, so we've had chickens on our mind a lot lately. We have, and it's summer here yeah. in Kansas, like it is a lot of places. Pretty toasty. Yeah, it's warm, and summer's really hard for uh, poultry because you get heat stress. And there's a great article in Grit Magazine uh, recently called um, Chicken Tips for Summer Heat. Mm -hmm. And it uh, talks about a few ways that you can help your backyard poultry uh, cope with the summer heat. And one of the best ways you can do it is putting shade out there for them. Yep. And one of the most important things that, that you can do is shade their watering station. And so that got us to thinking, hey, uh, we're all about using what you have. Mm -hmm. And what we have back here, we do a lot of projects here at Mother Earth News. I'm sure that many of you have tuned into some of our other videos. And we've accumulated a little bit of a wood pile over here, and so maybe we'll just walk over here and kind of see what we got. Uh, we got some pallet wood, we have some old logs that we cut up in some of our past videos. We've got some we've got some burnt pallet wood from the rocket stove. <laughs> yeah. So an accumulation of some of our past video stuff. Uh, and we got to thinking, okay, let's uh, maybe pull some of this stuff out and give it a new life. Yep. And so we had a few of these pallets in here, and we're all about building stuff with pallets. It's a great wood source. It's heat-treated wood, so it's not treated with anything but heat. Um, and yeah, that's where, where we're at. So maybe we'll come over here and see some of the things we pulled out and what we'll be working with today. So we got the, the poultry nipple waterer that we did a couple weeks ago. Um, if you want to see that video, go to our videos tab, mm -hmm. and uh, it should be, let's see, three videos ago. You can see us build this. We built it right out here, and so we're going to take that. We've got two pallets. Two small pallets, which you can also size this project that you see us building today. You can size it up using a full-size pallet easily. All right, and so basically, our thought was we have a bottom and we have a top and we had some of these pallets here As you can see have some really good pieces of wood on there we have some two by fours here so i was able to bust out um, two of these pallets and got six boards from it and which i have laid out right here and we wanted to make as few cuts as possible we're all about making it easy so yep. We're gonna use these two boards. Didn't have to cut them at all. Cause this is not our, our day job. This is what we do on our lunch break. <laughs> so we gotta do this, you know, pretty easy. Yep, here you go. Easy and quick, yep. Then we got these two boards, which you can see, I just cut two small pieces off, off of, which we'll put back <laughs> in the wood pile there. We'll use those at another time. <laughs> Don't throw anything away. Those are gonna go over there. Yep, and as you see here, we cut that a little bit shorter to create a pitch on the roof so that water runs off of it and not into our chicken food. And then these two pieces were a little special. Here, will you help me put this up on top? Yep. So these pallets were almost identical in size, but this one on top, which is going to be our roof, is just a little narrower. So we're just going to nail on, or screw on actually, these two sideboards and then that'll bring out um, this pallet to be the same width as the bottom one. So I guess you want to get started with that process? Yeah, let's do it. And we pre-drilled a few holes. Um, here, do you want me to get the drill? Yeah. 
Oh, it's got actually. Let's flip it over and uh, pre drill the other side since we have the bit in there. Okay. Or just take that board off. Okay, so because it's pallet wood, I'll just go ahead and snip it. You're going to want to pre drill your holes. Oh, got to put our, forgot, safety first. Safety first, Josh. Got to put our, uh, our job man gloves on. And maybe we just, for our newer viewers, just kind of reintroduce what we're doing here today. Okay. Real quick while we're getting suited up. Well, I'll reintroduce myself, and I'm Russell Mullen, and I'm with Mother Earth News. And I'm Josh, and I'm also a Mother Earth News. And what we're doing here today is we are building a raised structure, or a, um, actually this one's not raised, but you could raise this structure. It's a shaded structure for poultry, uh, for feed and water, to help them with uh, the summer heat stress. Okay? And we're just gonna dr pre drill our holes. Uh oh. Okay. And just to remember, I mean, what you just saw there. Pallet wood can get a little knotty, can be a little harder, so you just kind of got to take your time with it. And pre-drilling your holes makes life a lot easier. Do you get that bit? I do. So if any of you want to give a quick shout out about where you're viewing this video from we yep. love to hear from y'all yep and um, more. I mentioned earlier this uh, this video series is sponsored by Jobman Workwear and we're gonna be doing a few DIY projects heavy-duty DIY you know when we tell people that we do DIY we're talking about livestock applications we're talking about um, farm and home uh, construction DIY for us is not just a, uh, I don't know, I better not make any knocks. Because I think all DIY can be super empowering. And it's just like, it's about doing things yourselves and learning good skills and building community while you're doing it. I know I do my DIY projects in the front yard a lot of times because all my neighbors come out. So if any of you all have any great DIY projects that you've done lately, feel free to tell us what you've been working on or if you have yep. any ideas for us. We love getting video ideas and stuff to do because ultimately we're here to help you all out. So we love hearing your ideas. Yep. And this particular uh, project is a solution to summer heat for our poultry because, you know, when the when uh, chicken's water gets hot, especially if you're free-ranging your poultry in a pasture situation, there's not as much shade. And if their water gets hot or if you ferment your feed like we do, you know, that, that feed can get really hot. The chickens are going to overheat, so you always want to shade their food, and you want to give them, well, and, and as storms come up, you don't want to get your food, you know, rained in too much. Yeah. Um, and you just provide a little bit of shade for your birds themselves if they want to get out of the heat. You want to keep your girls happy. Yep, because if they're happy, they're laying eggs, and I love eggs. There's a saying, happy hens equals happy men's. <laughs> it's not a real saying. <laughs> You heard it here first. Yeah. Sayings but, from Russell. But, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh, this one's already pre-drilled. Yeah. Okay. And if you have any questions about what we're doing, why we're doing it, um, you have any tips for us to do it faster, better, Faster, better, stronger, safer, uh, let us know. Or if you've done this exact project, certainly let us know. Let us know how yours turned out, what modifications you made.
anywhere that gets a lot of shipments in, like we do here, or sends a lot of shipments, um, you can go to your local tractor supply, Harbor Freight, wherever, and yeah. see if they have pallets. Your local hardware store yeah. a lot of times has pallets. Absolutely. And they might actually have more of these small pallets like this. Yeah. Um, and, and you can also use big pallets. So we're, we're going to be doing kind of a small shade structure here, but you can certainly size this up to be more of a standard pallet. These are kind of smaller than your standard pallet. Right. Um, but we had them here and they seem to work perfect for us. So uh, Craigslist is also a good uh, resource. And um, you can get on Facebook even too. A lot of times they have um, like buy and trade sites or free cycle type sites. And so these are all resources you can use. And it doesn't have to be out of pallets either. You just have some scrap wood. Yeah, you can do it really out of anything. Okay, so that's our roof. Um, this is good because yep. that's about right. Yep. So we'll just set this to the side for now. We're gonna pre-drill the back one. Yeah. Okay. So making our life easier. One of the cool things, uh, you know, I spend a lot of time on my knees when I'm working on things. Um, get some knee pads. Um, and if you got some pants that have uh, sleeves in them like these do, yeah. you can put some knee pads in them. Pretty nice. Oh, especially when you're flooring. Have you ever done a flooring job all day and you get up <laughs> and you hadn't worn your knee pads? Yeah. It's a problem. It is. And when you're young, you think you can do that stuff, but it, uh, apparently you pay for it later. So I'm trying to get proactive. Pull it back. Pull it back. Yeah. If you have any questions about what we're doing, anything, any experience that you have for helping your poultry uh, stay out of the heat, go ahead and put them in the comments and uh, we'll read them out on air and try to answer them to the best of our abilities. Okay. Okay. Do you want to do the front ones and just go ahead and knock it all out with the pre-drill? Nah. Or you want to hang them? Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Oh, you're welcome. We like to help each other out, you know? Yeah. You hold this up? Yep. Thanks. There it goes. Oh, boy. You think we've done that before? Again, what we're doing here, when we're done, this thing is going to be like this, and it's going to have a little bit of a pitch to it, and then we're going to be able to put our water over here and our feet over here.
like these pockets. It's super handy. good to me. We may clean it up after the fact a little bit over here, but okay, looks good. I think, which side do you want to, you want to pre-drill all four sides and zip it in to hang it? Mm -hmm. Well, I was thinking maybe we can both hold it up this way without it being slanted and then pull it up. See what I'm Since we only have two, two people. Yeah. You could do this with one person. Um, if you're just looking for something to do in the morning, you know, get warmed up. Um, you could do this with a sawhorse. Just place that sawhorse to come. You know, if you really wanted to, especially if you're doing this by yourself, you could put a seat lamp in right now. But I think we've got it handled. So you're just gonna hang it first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll get this started most of the way. And then I'll see where it pops out. If you want to move it really fast. There it is. There it is. Got me uh, tied in there for a second. <laughs> So we made all this from four pallets, and actually, if you didn't have too many pallets, you could probably cut one big pallet in half and get these. Someone asked, why did you still two holes when you have to swing it up? Why not? Why what? Why did you still two holes? When oh, drill? Yeah, right here in the back? Yeah. I only drilled one. Okay. Yeah. So it must yeah. have looked like you did two. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Well, we did, we did one. Yeah, the question was why we drilled two holes, and maybe we should just go over that. So you, we, when we were hanging it, we drilled one hole here, one hole here, so that we could hang it and then swing it into position. And then we'll come back and secure it with the second hole. Now we're going to little bit of that bow out of it. You know, but that's not bad. You 
could um, and you would if you were working with a larger station I mean this is perfect size for having we have six hens and one rooster if you had a rooster that is soon to leave our leave our operation um, if you had more poultry you would want to probably have a few of these especially if you had more than one rooster you would have probably one of these for every rooster you have in your flock just so they get a little keep it uh, palette brown <laughs> uh, because this this is totally about doing something quick and and putting it out in pasture or putting it in your backyard or wherever if you wanted to paint it oh, sure yeah. it would last a little longer for sure it would yeah you could stain it too. you could you could make a table out of it yeah <laughs> this is pretty much just inspiration so you could get as involved or uninvolved with this as you want so we're just showing you a quick bare bones diy something that we pulled out of our wood pile yeah um, which i'm sure if you're like me a lot of you probably have some wood piles laying around that could use some pulling out of you know so yeah russell's known around here for the quality of his junk pile <laughs> You it's, know, well, it's well stocked. We we all have things we're known for around the office. Russell has a wood pile. <laughs> so here's our second our second hole for for whoever was asking that question. Are there any other questions or you know just shout out? If you're um if you would in the comments if you could tell us you know what you're doing to help your chickens cope with summer heat. You know this is something that. You know, we're always trying to get tips and um, observations from our readers, so just put in the comments what you're doing. And, oh, that's nice, that's a nice overhang there. Okay. And while Russell's finishing up there, I'm going to put one sheet of Angeline Ondura on the top of it. Um, it's just a lightweight roofing solution. Anywhere you might use uh, metal roofing, we tend to use this stuff. Um, and we'll just fasten this directly into um, this pallet wood here. Um, and this will just, you know, this will just protect it a little bit more. Um, this would be adequate, but water would still come through. This is really going to help, and it also make the whole setup last a little longer.
knee pads in your pants. Yeah, actually, and I think it's really down. awesome the way that you can do that. So these are really nice because they're already higher durability and I do get down a lot on the ground. You probably see me kneel a lot. Um, if I were kneeling on concrete or something a little harder than this ground, um, you can see here, I'll put my hand up there. There is a slot in order to put knee pads. So um, one of the really great features, as you can see, there's pretty much somewhere to put anything that you could possibly use. So I have hammer, I have my markers, I have my safety glasses in here. Um, I have really awesome cargo pockets. That's what I've been keeping my screws in. It's been really nice. Um, they're Velcroed, but the Velcro isn't so tight that you can't get your hand in there. Um, you can just open it up. You have all kinds of pockets. I have nails in here, another place for a pen. Um, probably fit some like multi-tool pliers or something in there. Same thing here. Uh, Josh has places in his pants over there that he's wearing for cell phones. Oh for yeah, I can ID put a badges. cell phone in here. You have an ID if you got to go on a job site or something. Got two hammer hooks. Got a, two nail pockets. And these are reinforced Kevlar material and they've got knee pads right in here as well. Yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you don't think about um, getting a good quality pair of pants or shirt. Whenever you start a project, you think a lot about your tools, but I've been on jobs where I've burned through a pair of blue jeans every oh, every week and a half. Oh my week. goodness. Yeah. It adds especially, up. Especially once you get into places with a lot of snags and stuff. So, like I work around barbed wire a lot. Uh, I mean, it's nothing for some denim to get caught on the barbed wire and then, then it just starts spraying a huge hole. And these right. are a lot more durable than that. We're, oh, yeah. we, we're being asked what the brand is. Oh. Job man. The brand is Job Man Workwear. Yep. And it's one word. Yep. J O B M A N uh, Workwear. And their website is Jobman USA. Yep. JobmanUSA.com. Go check them out. It's good stuff. You know, I was talking to Russell about like how cool it is to work with a lot of our partner brands, like people that just make really high quality um, materials. Oh, yeah, we should reintroduce ourselves. Um, I'm Josh. I'm Russell. And if you're tuning in, you're going to have to go back to the beginning and see the whole process. But we took uh, two pallets and we ripped apart a pallet and we're building a shaded uh, chicken watering and feeding station. Yeah. Um, and all we did is made four cuts and a handful of screws, two guys and a hammer. Yeah, and uh, I'd say we're coming along pretty well. We've been working on this for what, about 15 minutes now? Yeah, and we've been taking our time, and you know, per usual, I think we're like kind of maybe overbuilding it a little bit. <laughs> you could do one of these things pretty easily. Like, I mean, I'm putting more security on this roof than I need to. And if, whew, we've got a lot of wood to go through. Let's um, see how I want to hang this. For those of you that watched our uh, build a chicken coop in an hour, you'll recognize this material from that. That's where this is coming from. What are you doing under there? Oh, I'm just trying to see oh. how I want to hang this. There are lots of hanging possibilities, so. You want to do it like that? I think right I'll here. do it right here. Oh, okay, cool. I'm actually gonna build this. Okay. And again, if you're working with pallet wood, you know, you saw there, sometimes nails are a little harder to get in. If you want to make your life easier, uh, you can just pre-drill all your holes. Especially if you're using nails, you're going to bend a lot of nails. Um, or if you're lucky, you can get them in pretty easily. All right, if you want to come down here, I'll show you what I'm working on. So now we're at the point where we can start looking into hanging our waterer. And so this is a waterer that, uh, Josh, you made about yep. three videos ago. Yeah. Um, pretty simple DIY project. Uh, you want to talk about it a little 
event so people know um, what exactly they're looking at? Yeah, real quick, pretty much uh, like a lot of people, we had an old cooler here. Oh, there's another uh, water and oh. some and some water. Um, anyway, um, we had an old cooler and the spigot had gone out. So we pulled that spigot out and replaced it with some um, standard schedule 40 PVC. And we put these little horizontal action uh, nipple waterers in there so that birds uh, can come up to it and hit it face on and they don't break it off as much. Plus, because we're here in Kansas, our, it gets below freezing pretty regularly in the winter. These nipples don't freeze uh, because they're horizontal. Anyway, and this is a hanging waterer. So let me, so back here you think would be all right, right? Yep. Okay. Uh oh. Man, did you break my waterer? <laughs> <laughs> So I think that we're gonna hang it back here towards the back just a little bit since it's for forward facing. This will give the chickens room to get in here, get out of the sun, especially during high noon and keep the water a little cooler. Yep. So I'm gonna put a... And, and one of the things if you're, um, you know, I face, I'd face this to the south and if you really have a, you know, a pretty direct sun situation, you just wrap it in some cloth around the back end, a tarp yep. or something, but not totally. Maybe cut some slits in it so you can get a cross brace. Alrighty. And then we're going to use just some real simple chain here. Yep, because we're going with what we have on hand. Okay. And then we have a really simple S hook. And let's see about how high do we want this. We want it to be at a good height for full-grown chickens, so. Yeah, so uh, maybe just a little bit higher. That's good. Okay. We'll hook in right about here. Um, we're not planning on using a floorboard, but if you wanted to, and you wanted to make this easier to clean, see, you know, this is ideal for pasture situations. You're going to put this out there and pretty much forget about it. Um, but if you've got this really close to your house or something like that, you might put a piece of old linoleum down here or, a, you know, any sort of old plank board or a piece of OSB or anything like that, that you just want to come in here and spray off. All right. And then we have the feeder. Yep. And for a feeder, you have a few options. Um, you know, I like to feed like this because I ferment my feed. I just put it right in here and pile it up and the chickens will knock it out and they'll eat it, scratch it. Um, if you're using dry feed and you want to use a keeper, you put a tensioner rod through this, usually comes with this type of feeder and it'll just hang like that. And then you can do the same thing we did with the waterer, but right here, and have that hang here or here or over there. But for us, we're just gonna have this thing right there. And if you really wanted to secure this so that it doesn't get knocked out of here, you just shoot a really long screw or a nail or something like that right through here and attach it. How did you attach it in the back? How do we attach the... the oh, water? you wanna see the water in? Uh, just a really simple method. So we took this chain here, I have an S hook, um, you could probably come up with any number of methods for, for hanging something like this. And I just draped it over, and so you can always take it right off. Um, I like that it has a handle, so you can take it to the house, take it to the hose. Um, just take the lid off, fill it up, bring it back out, and then hang it back on here, and you're good to go. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing Russell brought up is that if you're hatching chicks, um, and you're regularly, you have uh, new chicks or pullets with your... Uh, with your poultry, especially in a free range situation, you might get one of these little chick waterers and just add it here to the corner and maybe get a little piece, if you're worried about it getting knocked over, just put a little piece of metal around it and just put a little keeper on there. And that way the, uh, the chicks can come in here and hit that too. That's a great way to get them trained on the nipple um, so that they can use a nipple waterer later on. Um, one final thing we were thinking about is, you know, if you're doing this in a pasture situation, especially here in Kansas, <laughs> you're going to get some wind. Definitely. Um, this and thing is pretty, it's pretty heavy, but 
it gets get pretty a, windy here. It's pretty windy. So we're gonna use these uh, big orange screws. I think that's the name of it. And we're just gonna screw these suckers in here. Actually, yep. And you can check these little suckers out at orangescrew.com. Anyway, we're just gonna use them as a keeper. For this whole thing in case well I mean I guess especially if you're using this for turkeys turkeys like to get up on top of things I don't think a turkey could tip this over but and so that little sucker is staying in there it's not going anywhere and it just holds that little ear will just hold that corner of the All pallet right, I'll do this side to know would a closely knitted wire mesh be okay to use on the floor oh, yes yes uh, and a cl actually that wire knit mesh would be preferable probably um, uh, just for cleaning cleanliness um, if you did that you would probably have to hang this as well but yeah all right let's we'll put this thing up in the air one last time. All right, I, I think we can call that thing good. Yeah, that's stable. Well, you call that a wrap? I think we call it a wrap. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, once again, thanks to our sponsor, Jobman Workwear. Yep. Uh, if you want to look stylish like us, if you want to look stylish like Russell, <laughs> yeah. uh, they're, your, they're your place to hook you up. No, seriously, uh, special thanks to them. Yeah, uh, thank you. We're going to be doing um, two more hardcore DIY videos. We're going to be building things. We're going to be, I don't know, we're really open to anything. I, yeah. I, know, I know we've got a request for a firewood builder um, and maybe some scything as well. So if you have any other ideas for DIY projects you want to see us tackle, uh, Preferably keep them under an hour. Um, the chicken coop was about as I was about as big as we can go. But um, write them in the comments. Send us a message on Facebook. Let us know something you'd like to see us do. Something you'd like to see us test. And we will, uh, within reason, try to uh, uh, meet that expectation. Yep. So, so with that, I guess we'll say see you later. Thanks for tuning in. We enjoyed having you all. We enjoy seeing your comments. So. Keep them coming in. Yep. Um, if you came in halfway through the video, the video will be uploaded on the videos tab on Facebook. So keep an eye out for that, and we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye.